Welcome to the testing world. In this session, I'll show you how we can convert Postman script to JMeter. So let's take an example if you are working on Postman. And as we know, Postman is a tool for REST API testing. But there we are doing functional automation. So means if I have an API to test or I can say REST API to test. So we are doing the functional testing of that by using Postman. Okay. Okay, let's move to the postman first. Here I have a post request and I'm just sending and we are getting response. And here we can put a lot of assertions. So that is a functional automation testing means we are sending a request, getting a response and we are validating that response. So that is a prerequisite of the session. Like you are aware about the postman, how to do API testing using postman because here I'm not going to explain Postman tool. I'll explain you how we can integrate Postman with JMeter. Okay. Next I'll come to JMeter because we are going to take Postman scripts to the JMeter. But why we need to go for the JMeter? So JMeter is a performance testing tool. So means in Postman, we are doing functional testing of the API. But now I want to do performance testing of the API. So I want to move to the JMeter for the performance testing. So here is my JMeter. Now the question is, I already have a lot of test cases, a lot of steps here in the Postman and I want to take it to the JMeter. Is it possible? Answer is yes, it's possible. So if I come here, first of all, we need to understand why we need to take our AP auto functional automation script from the Postman to JMeter. So as I told you, Postman is a functional testing tool means we are doing the functional testing of the API using Postman and you already have a lot of test cases, a lot of API test cases which you have created in Postman. But now I got it asked performance testing of, of API for which we already created Postman test cases. So how we can do that because now I want to go for the performance testing and in Postman we cannot do performance testing it is only for the functional testing. So performance testing, I want to go for JMeter, but how we can take our functional automation script from Postman to JMeter. Even if I say we need to do performance testing of some API, one approach is that we will write API testing steps in JMeter. That is one option. But again, I take an example. You have hundreds of API and you already written lot of test cases here in the postman. So one approach is that just leave it. I'll write or I'll create same test cases again in the JMeter for performance testing. Other approach is that take these postman test cases into the JMeter. Answer is yes. And that is an option too. We can record postman execution in JMeter and use it for the performance testing. Okay. What does it mean? It means what all the requests you have written there in the postman, we can record them using JMeter. So it will come to the JMeter and we can apply user load over there. Means we can create performance test cases over there. How we can do that? Let's move forward. So let's take an example. You already have these scripts. You already have functional testing scripts. So that is my one script. I have one more request that is for get student data and I'll just update my URL here. So these are the two steps which are running perfectly. One, I'm making a post request and other, I'm making a get request. And these are working in Postman. Now, I want to take them to the JMeter. How we can do that? Okay, let's move to the JMeter. That's a JMeter. And as of now, I did not start anything. So what we can do, we'll follow the structure. But here I'm taking the prerequisite you are aware about JMeter. So in JMeter, first of all, we need to create a thread group. So I'll just go and create a thread group. If you're not aware, thread group is quite similar to the test case. So I just mentioned TC001 API automation. Okay. Now I'm going to add one non test element. So I just right click on this test plan, add non-test element and HTTP test 
script recorder. If you can see, that is added over here. Now here the setting is, it will record all the traffic from the port 8888. Okay, all you can change it, but I'm keeping it same. Now target controller, go to the target controller and set for test plan TC001 API automation means whatever the recording I'm going to do, it will store there in the TC001 API automation thread group. Okay, so we have done all the settings over here. Next, I'll have to make some settings in the postman. So I'll just go to postman and here we have a setting option. You'll get this option in the latest version of the postman. So if you have the older version, just replace it with the latest version. I'll just go to the settings and here we have an option of proxy. Go to the proxy and here go to remove this use system proxy and add a checkbox over there. Add a custom proxy configuration. Okay. Here on the proxy server, just give 127.0.0.1 means localhost. And here we need to give the same port which you set in the JMeter. So if you are aware, there is a port number 8888 and same port we set here in the here in the postman okay so setting is done i'll just close that window let's move to the jmeter again and here we need to click on this start means we are starting the recording in jmeter so let's click on the start and just waiting for the certificate we got a certificate just click on okay now recording is started, just move to the postman and just move to the postman and run your request. So first of all, I'm running a post request. We got a response. Now we go and let's check in the JMeter. So if you check it in the JMeter, that is recorded. Okay, let's go to postman again and this time I'm making a get request. So I'll just select the get request, send. We got the response. Let's check, do we get recording? Answer is yes. So I re executed two requests in the postman and that is recorded here in the JMeter. As the recording is done, we can just stop the recording. So here is the stop button. I'll just stop recording. Once you stop the recording, just change the setting of the postman to default else you will not be able to use postman. So I'll just go to the postman settings and proxy and keep it system proxy. Okay, that is done. Now come back to the, here we have postman script recording. Let's check this one by one. So if I go to the first request, you can check it. This is the body I was sending. It just take the body from there. Okay. If you check and it's a post, you can check it the post, you can check server, you can check path, everything automatically recorded over here. In the same way, if I go here that my get request and you can check it's a get and it is hitting the same API or I would say endpoint which we set there in the postman. So that is recorded. We can change the name. I'll just click on this. I am saying add new student API. So that's my API for adding a new student. In the same way, I have one more API. I have just one more endpoint and giving the name get student details. So as I told you here, I did not cover how to write API testing scripts there in the postman. If you want to check it, you can go to my other videos on my YouTube channel. There I have shown it, but here only agenda is just to show you how you can take your postman execution or postman script to JMeter. So that we got here. Okay, now we got these two steps. Now we don't need this recorder anymore. I'll just remove it. So just right click and remove. Okay, now if you can check it, we have it as case with some steps. Automatically authorized, HTTP authorization manager is added with some header values. So, so everything automatically set over here. Here I want to go for the execution, but before execution, I want to add a listener so we can check result. So I'll just add a listener over here and that's a view result tree listener. 
okay we got this so everything is set now as of now I'm going to execute it for the single user but later on I'll change it okay let's execute so it is saying you need to save it I'm just saving it with the name API test plan okay execution started it is for the one user and first post request so that was a request and we got response means a new student added then we'll go for the second request it's a get request we are making a request and we are getting a response here so means yes that's working now because you want to go for the performance testing you can apply number of users you can apply ramp up time so whatever the changes you want to do as per your performance script you you can do it over here but we have seen how we can take our api automation script from the postman to the jmeter so if i say you already have the postman plan which have hundreds of requests and you want to do performance testing so it will save you a lot of time because you need not to write these scripts again in the jmeter it will just take your postman script to the jmeter so that is recording of the api request from the postman to the jmeter that is for the session here we have seen how we can take our postman script to jmeter that's all we have thanks for watching this video